Okay. Well, luckily it's not raining at the moment. But I've been sitting around all day wanting to go for a little bit of a hike. And uh, it's just been raining nonstop. And uh, at this point, I said, screw it. Got a uh, backpack with a Swedish military surplus uh, poncho in it, just in case. And lovely Swedish military colors that hopefully I won't need because now it actually looks pretty decent. But I got a couple loops here, some two and three miles, and I think maybe a six mile loop or something like that. So I'll just go out and do a little bit of a hike instead of sitting in the house anymore. And uh, it's 4.37, I think. Sun, uh, sunset is 7.18, 7.19, something like that. So Anyway, don't let the weather stop you. Get out there and move around. Take a look at the map over here. See what route we're going to pick for our please don't let me go stir crazy hiking day. Uh, let's see. Alright, I guess I was wrong about there being a six mile one, but I guess we'll do this 3.9 mile trail here. Check that out. See what it's like. I believe we will go that way. Looks like we'll be following the yellow and it's going over here. Oh man. Look at this terrible, challenging terrain, terrain I'm on. Do you feel sorry for me? No. I guess it's not exactly the same as the uh, rocks we had to deal with in Pennsylvania, huh? They even keep the place, uh, keep the lawn mode around here. It is nice to get out though. Without having to drive three or four hours. <laughs> I think I took a wrong turn. <laughs> but I think I see where I'm supposed to be. At least find some way to make this interesting. I believe this is the Mason Dixon line marker. Something to that effect. Let's check it out. Got your little marker here. 1892. Delaware. Pennsylvania. Little marker. Field work executed by the United States. Coast and Geodetic Survey. This part of the trail actually comes out pretty close to the road too. Not the closest you get. Just kind of takes you out of the zone a little bit. When that goes by. But, kind of cool to see uh, historical stuff like this out here. But anyway, we'll keep moving. Away from that road. They make that nice and obvious. Yellow trail in between there. But speaking, speaking of Mason Dixon, you can see the, uh, the actual Mason Dixon trail. You would uh, continue. Continue on down over here to the left. Which is cool, but we won't be doing that today. Um, but there's the Mason Dixon trail. Apparently, no mountain bikes. All right, well, we're going to go this way. It is nice and calm out here today. 
one of the nicer things about coming out in the quote unquote crappier weather weather um, you know you get the place to yourself the trail to yourself a little bit more especially in a situation like this where you're not really doing like a hiking hiking remote trail you're doing like a state park deal where if it was sun if it was sunny and Sunday right now you would not be alone but in this case I haven't really seen anybody nice and quiet and can I admit to you that I'm actually a little disappointed that it stopped raining so I don't have an excuse to try out my new poncho but oh well whatever um, I was prepared I, uh, even if I didn't have the poncho I think I'd be okay I got the Easter Mountain Sports see I do buy some pricey gear the Easter Mountain Sports little uh, um, rain jacket it's the one that collapses down into like the palm of your palm of your hand so you can pop it in your backpack really quick I wear it as a even if it wasn't gonna rain as a um, like a windbreaker or extra layer it really does trap some warmth in a little too much sometimes actually and the more expensive model actually has vents on the uh, on the pit area but it works all right what we got here Damn, just missed it. That's funny. Um, about three seconds after I was blabbing about. There he is. Three seconds after I was blabbing about being alone, I saw what I thought was a dog in a person. But it's actually a white tail that ran out in front of me like an idiot. Or I guess I'm the idiot. I'll try to double back on it. I won't bore you to death with this riveting video all day. I think I spooked out a lot of them, so. Yeah, we'll just go about on a merry old way. Anyway, that was kind of cool. At least I see. At least I saw something. <laughs> well, it's dawned on me at this point that we still have about an hour and 40 minutes till sunset. This trail's only four miles, so. Might as well take our time, be quiet, skip the cardio, and maybe actually see something. Probably just deer, obviously, but, you know, if you can't tell, I'm amused by the little things, so. That would be my game for the afternoon. It's kind of cool. You'll see little structures like this, or what's left of them around here. old school rock foundation. Okay, that was exciting, wasn't it? These boots do have some grip, I'll give them that. 
Where were we? This is cool. A little more up and downhill variation now. Oh. Somebody had, some woodpecker had fun with that tree, huh? Tore that sucker up. some light <clears throat> I think it's mostly just because it's so gloomy today still got a little bit of time before sunset and this is kind of cool this is pretty well known for anybody who knows this park it's been getting slowly degraded over the years of course but Old car, circa 1950s, probably. I don't know. And everybody likes to debate how to, how it got out here, of course. Kind of funny. At least I'm assuming it's from the 50s. I don't know that much about cars, but it looks 50s-ish. Maybe somebody knows what to deal with this model of car is. I think I might be able to restore that engine. Probably not. Anyway, back on the trail. Something's moving out there. I just saw that white tail. Didn't even see if it was. Couldn't even see its head. I don't hear it anymore. <laughs> Riveting video, isn't it? <laughs> I don't hear him anymore. I'm getting pretty far off of my main trail, so. Alright, we'll call that a call that a bust. Or not really. I occupied 15 minutes of my time. And what else was I gonna do out here? Didn't bring a Sudoku with me. Alright, let's get back on track here. Moving along. Not a poacher, by the way, I'm just bored. Maybe I need to clarify that to those of you wondering why I'm stalking <laughs> sounds at a state park when it's not hunting season. No, it's just me and my backpack. Just wasting some time. Looks like we're getting dumped out onto some pavement. Should have brought out the uh, canteen cup stove and the trioxane tub 
the tablets and made some coffee. Tested out the trioxane. Could have done two birds with one stone. Oh well, I guess we'll have to do a separate video for that. Milking it. Uh, would be nice to have some coffee right now though. At least I got solid ground to walk on. Not that any of this terrain has really been that uh, that involved. But okay, looks like we're going back up here. Oh, uphill, that's good. Ah, this rain jacket is heating me up. Definitely builds up some heat. Not necessary right now. Apparently there isn't going to be any moisture, so... Whatever. Just pack this down. I don't know if I brought the stuff sack or not. Well, looks like I didn't bring the stuff sack, so I won't be able to show you how it stuff's down. But basically, I just kind of roll this sucker up. And then, it's got a little stuff sack in it. And it'll compress it, almost like a mini little compression sack. And that sucker compresses down even smaller, so. Very handy to have with you. It's like a, kind of an emergency windbreaker type thing. Alright. Take my camera back out of the leaves there. Get clipped back up. Oh, feel a ton better now. Much cooler. Say goodbye to the Mason Dixon Trail. We'll head down this way and across that clearing over there. And on the other side, once we get across that green, we'll be back at the car. Didn't run out of daylight. Burned a few calories. Had some fun. So all in all, can't complain with that. Although it has come to my attention now that I have my ring gear off that um, I'm kind of wearing all matching, which my wife loves when I color coordinate like this not to mention that it's matching the digital camo so I probably look like some sort of not case to be paramilitary guy in the woods right now so that's good but like I said crappy weather no one's around so I guess I won't get uh, I won't be scaring anybody today <laughs>